best hunter. So we're gonna utilize stems and have some fun. What we're gonna do here is load in a track. So what we're gonna do is make some crazy stuff out of this song. So what we're gonna do is right click on this. So for me, it's gonna be control and click. And then we're gonna do stem splitter. We're gonna do everything. Six, so now we have all of these individual components, which is crazy. No matter what the people say, this is your moment to shine. Sick. Let's check out the drums. Then we have the bass. Ooh. And then, of course, we have the other. Shining out of you. Yeah. So I'm going to grab here. We're going to do Command T to chop that section. And we're going to stop here. Ironically, she's saying stop. <laughs> and shout out to uh, Lisa Let that's actually singing on this. She is an uh, amazing artist in every way. So we're going to take this vocal that we chopped and we're going to just drag this into an empty slot. And look what we get. We get some sampler options. So what we're going to do is let's do the quick sampler and we could do original. Now what we have is a sampler instrument from that vocal. No matter, no matter, no matter. So we're going to change this to slice. And what we're going to do is do change the mode. So let's change this to manual. And now we can just click in where we want our chops to go. No, no, no. So now we can actually pitch this down and switch it up. So we'll lay that down. That's a vibe. Now we're going to grab another song and sample some drums using the stems. So I really want to just highlight how crazy the stems is. All right, which is crazy. So let's get the stems of this. Let's do stem splitter and let's get everything. And we're going to find a way to incorporate this. Let's get the drums. We'll grab from here. We'll get that because that has enough of everything to, to build a kit. So we're going to chop this up from right here. We'll do command T and end it about here. Do command T and then we're going to take these drums and we're going to do a new uh, drum machine designer. And it's automatically gonna chop up the drums for us. Let's quantize that just by hitting the letter Q. Now, if you're really serious about taking your Logic Pro experience to the next level and beyond, then my Logic Pro Masterclass is gonna be the solution for you because I take all of these concepts, mixing, mastering, sounds, automation, and so much more in time and care into this class to make it easy and digestible for you to understand. Now, I completely understand if you're a beginner and you're trying to figure out logic and trying to figure out how to record, I've also included chapters for the ultimate beginner where you know nothing about recording, you will still be able to follow along. So if you wanna enroll in that course, I'll leave that tag below for you guys so you can have access to it. Perfect, and then what we can 
can do is get the God particle on here on the master. Now that we have this, I'm gonna try to chop up some more stuff here. So let's get into this sample. <laughs> That's stupid. So what we can do is chop that from there. I like that progression. And then we'll chop from here. We'll do Command T. Now we have this and do the same thing. We're gonna make this into a quick sampler instrument. And now we have that locked and loaded. All right, and then we'll change this to slice and then have some fun with this. Perfect. Now we can get this into the key that we have our track in. Here we go. So it sounds a little awkward with the rhythm right now, which is actually kind of dope because we can change this. So what we're gonna do is do Control and B to bounce this in place. And so now we can actually go in and manually shift this to work in our favor. What we're gonna do is turn on the flex mode here. So we're gonna do Command F to turn on the flex mode for this. So now we have this icon pop up and we can actually do command and down to blow this up. So this right here is rushed, this beat right here. So we can actually click there and it gets back on beat about here. So now we can set our points and basically get this to force it <laughs> to lock in. There we go. Now it's starting to line up for us. There it is. And we can adjust this too. This is a little bit um this is a little bit behind, so we can move this up. So now that we have that, it's pretty much the same loop. Command click to get our marquee, and you need to set this up up here. So we can get our marquee tool by hitting command, and then we're just gonna copy the first half, so up to this measure three here. So what we can do is just do command R and copy what we just did over here. So what we're gonna do is borrow some bass. We're gonna apply the same concept. So we got like a straight note right here. Perfect, so we're gonna chop this note. We're gonna do Command T. And then we're going to get this over straight to the downbeat there. Perfect. So we're gonna take that one shot bass and we're gonna make this into a, a full blown instrument. So now what we're gonna do is take this into a sampler, a full blown sampler. So now we have this. Oh, oh, okay. 
And that's what we're doing. So I like to mix as I go and just create space. So I'm just gonna use an EQ on the vocal. Let's EQ the uh, main sample here. So now this leaves us room to add some other stuff. got any value out of this video make sure to give this video a thumbs up subscribe to the YouTube channel and turn on those bell notifications so you don't miss anything else